Hey everybody, my brain's been going crazy because I have a BBBE hardcore recipe that I'm gonna do today that's gonna be chewy, buttery, and delicious. So you guys, stay tuned. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry and our little Chihuahua is little Sally Girl. Her name is Sally Schnickerdoodle but we call her Sally Girl. Anyway, how is everybody doing today? We just got back. We had to hit the ground running this morning. Um, Sally had to have a grooming appointment. Our Gardeners came, there were tree limbs that need to be done. We had to go drop off some stuff at my daughter. So we have already been out and about. Yes, we have. We are gonna insert right here our little trip. We went to Panera's, which is right next door to PetSmart. Hey everybody, we are at Panera, which is right next door to PetSmart, where Sally is currently getting groomed. We did have our coffee experience this morning, but we are having decaf. We're having decaf and enjoying that here as we wait for her to be done. I've got some packages that I need to drop off at my daughter who lives a few blocks up the road. Then we are gonna take Sally home and drop her off. Harry has his doctor of internal medicine appointment to go over his enlarged spleen and what the next steps are in the process. Oh, it's been a busy morning already. We did our finger prick and then the gardeners came and we had a bunch of down branches that they needed to cut up and stuff from the winds that we've been having and such. And then you guys, I got my order. I ordered my Argusen uh, Farms order from Amazon and they delivered it. I ordered it last night because my girlfriend Karen in Washington, longtime friend, told me that the butter was on sale, the powdered butter. So I went there and ordered some. So I'll share the stuff that I got for my pantry and emergency uh, food uh, when we get home in between everything else that we're doing today. Anyway, how's everybody doing? We'll share our weights and everything when we get home too, as well as breaking our fast once we get little Sally girl home and settled. I have a question. Do you guys consider decaffeinated coffee caffeine free? Leave me a comment down in the description, down in the comment section, you guys. Is decaffeinated coffee caffeine free? What is your opinion? Let me know. We're also going to insert our morning uh, glucose and ketones readings right here. Good morning, everybody. It's finger picking time. It's finger picking time. Yes, it is. How's that looking in the shade of the camera? I'm, it's getting luck. It's getting color back in mm -hmm. on the knuckle part where I whacked it. Yeah. Okay, I put everything in. I got a new, I got new everything, Harry. I know, I put them in. I did it all last night. Oh, yeah, I set them out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what the dealio is this morning, shall we? Now stick it. See, look, if you stick it right on top, Harry, it does really good. Mine doesn't beep anymore. Why not? I don't know. That's weird. We got to figure that out unless you want it to. Point three. Zero point six. I wonder why here's just a point three today, this morning. And then we're totally fasted, you guys. We're going to have our coffee experience after this. 107.3 and 107. 108 and 106. I want my coffee now. Okay, you can have your coffee experience right now. 10. You are not in GKI ketosis. Okay. Cheers. Coffee time. <laughs> Where's mine? Oh, you got to make a whole new <laughs> pot. Yep. It, it takes one and a half of the carafes to make one cup of coffee for Harry, but he's a happy camper. Yes, indeed. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> you 
guys, we have not broken our fast. We had the decaf coffee. We had uh, a coffee experience this morning when we were taking care of everything before we left. But I want to share with you, you We guys, haven't gone to the doctor yet. We have not gone to Harry's uh, Doctor of Internal Medicine. That We have to be there at 3, and it's in downtown Scottsdale. It's 1 o'clock, so I have to get on the ball because we have not eaten, and we have to break our fast, and then we have to leave at 2. So we have an hour to do that. But I wanted to share... Um, I went down eight tenths of a pound today. Harry stayed the same. He's been doing the same yeah, thing. It's weird. But you dropped. Dude, nope, you stayed the you same. Stayed the same. Yeah, you stayed the same. I went down eight tenths, so I'm finally normalizing a little bit. My glucose morning readings are still a little bit high, but um, I'm picking up in ketones, so that's a good thing. Anyway, you guys, come back in the next segment because we have to break our fast so we can get out the door to go see Harry's. Doctor of Internal Medicine, which I'm sure is going to order a plethora of blood workup to be oh, done. Oh, yeah. First and foremost. So, anyway, you guys come back in the next segment when we break our fast. I'm trying the new butter, you guys. Oh, interesting. What? The package there's a little different, but it's about the same size exactly as uh, Terry Gold. Yeah, just small, a little smaller, but a little thinner, I think. Yeah. No, nope, it's the same. Is it's it? just yeah, it's just their cubes go in a different way than uh, Terry Gold's. They look thinner, don't they? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see if it fits in my butter. A little my wider butter container. That's what I'm worried about. That it's going to be wider. I want it to fit in my butter container. I've got half bacon, grease, half. Oh, perfect. Fits. Yay! Mmm, tastes good too. Yeah, that's good butter. That's good butter, you guys. It's 97% grass fed because I'm sure they have to supplement with grain during winter months at some point in time. But I've got. We're going to have leftover steak. And eggs. How many eggs do you want, Harry? Four. Four? Okay, so it's a four. Four biggins. Four biggins? Loving my eggs, man. I know, I love them too. We can have four too, because who knows what time I'm having at home. I know it. Depends on what he needs to have done and how soon he wants it done. And first, I'm sure, comes blood workup. Oh, yeah. Just to get more specifics on what is going on with the spleen. Ruling out things. Okay, you guys, it's a lot of eggs and we're hungry. Then I'm gonna just take and barely heat up our steaks. And we're gonna have steak and eggs, so come back in the next segment when it's steak and eggs. Sally wants some eggs, yes she does. Come on, she just had a bath. She's all fluffy. Yeah, she does. She does. eggs out. I love this pan. Woo! Man, I love this pan. The um, steaks are being warmed in the other pan. We just like them slightly warm, don't we, Harry? Yep. Not really hot. I like them just... No, well, we don't want them to be cooked. We just want the fat to be a little bit cooked or yeah. heated. And then here's Harry's. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. This one's mine. She's talking in there. Yes, she is. Nope, oh, this one. Looks prettier eating it from the other side, doesn't it? 
Well, I'm just making a mess out of mine. It's all that butter. It's sliding everywhere. You're right, it is. So I'm gonna put the butter on the steak. Mmm. And the rest on there. Mm -mm -mm. I am gonna get some cherry wood smoked. Cherry wood soaked. You guys don't forget you can get the set of three. Hickory, Chef's Blend, and Cherry Smoked at Redmond's Real Salt. And you guys, we have a 15% discount for that down in the description below. But this is what we have. This is our special seasoning throughout the month of BBBE Hardcore because all it is is Redmond's Real Salt. And smoke. Yeah. And if you got a... <gasps> Look at that. A cooker oh, in your life that likes to cook outside. Yes, it's a great gift. It's a great gift. I'm telling you, we'll spoil them. Look at that, you guys. Oh, guess what? Time to eat now. See you guys in the next segment. You guys, it is crazy experiment time in the kitchen with Wendy. Yes, indeed. Live here on camera because I was thinking. Live, yeah. Live. I was thinking, you know. Live but pre-recorded. A long time ago, when they made bagels, some of them used to make them using lard. And then I thought, we're on the BBBB Hardcore. Indigo Neely's been using butter. I've used the butter. I've used the brown butter in my new breads, right? What if I took two tablespoons of bacon grease and I froze them? And I took two tablespoons of my browned butter and froze them and then I ground them up and I used that in bagels made my bagels and instead of everything but the bagel seasoning I used cherry smoked real salt and bacon bits oh you guys doesn't that sound delicious well Harry just ground up my butter it's right here and my bacon grease. So it's mixed, ready here to go. It's ready here to go. I have got my pans. I've got a bagel or a donut pan. And then I've got hamburger bun top pan because I don't know how much dough is gonna go in here. I am not good at piping. So I'm gonna spoon mine in. Now, we're gonna use that BBBE Hardcore Protein Bread Recipe. And I'm gonna share it because I'm gonna add some stuff. You guys, but I'm very excited about this because it will, I tasted that brown butter with the bacon grease mixture and it's good, isn't it, Harry? Oh yeah. I mean, oh, it yeah. tastes delicious. Yeah, new level. So yeah. you guys, I'm really anxious to get started with this. So you guys, let's get started, fingers crossed, because I don't make this ahead of time. It's gonna pass or fail on its own accord, you know, and I've had some fails in my life. Um, so I just wanna make sure that we're doing this correctly. So you guys, I'm excited. Let's get going. Okay, I have my water. Uh, one and a half cups of water. Now, I want bagels or chewy. So I have got my grass-fed beef gelatin right here. And in my BBBE Hardcore uh, bread, I used one tablespoon. Well, I'm going to use... I'm gonna use three tablespoons. So I'm gonna mix this over the water, just sprinkle it all over the water. I'm gonna sprinkle it over the water. I am going to put in half teaspoon of salt because I'm putting salt on top. So, oops. Redmond's. Redmond's real salt. Just plain Redmond's real salt. I am going to get two tablespoons of powdered egg yolk. Now you can use two egg yolks at the very end, but I'm using the powder because that's what I have. And I'm just putting in two tablespoons. Um, bagels are egg centric. So there we go. 
for that. That goes in last because it is fat and it goes in before the butter. So I'm gonna zero this all out, get my egg white, and I'm gonna put in 120 grams of egg white protein powder. There you go, 120. I'm gonna beat this until I get stiff peaks. Then we're gonna put in the egg yolk powder, and then we are gonna put in the butter and bacon grease. Yes, I said bacon grease. So you guys, let's get this started on low. Putting in my two tablespoons of egg yolk is going in. Yes, it is. I don't know if I got all of it. But... Well, two tablespoons of my egg yolk. I'm going to do it on low. <laughs> Now it's time to put in the frozen butter and bacon grease. Yes, I said bacon grease and frozen ground butter. Come on. Yes. Oh my, you guys, I am so excited about this. If this works, I am just so jazzed. This is frozen. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, because it has butter in it and bacon grease, I've got to get this out and into the pan pretty quickly. So and I don't know how this is gonna work because I've never done, I've never seen anybody use bacon grease. Frozen bacon grease, yes, I'm saying frozen bacon grease with their egg white protein bread. Okay, you guys, it smells delicious because it's browned butter. Two tablespoons of brown butter, frozen. Two tablespoons of my bacon grease. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm gonna stir it up. Make sure I got it from the bottom. Yes, it's falling rapidly. I mean like major rapidly. So I've got to get this in this pan and into the oven and I need a bigger spoon. So here we go. It looks like it's about a serving spoon size bagel. Can't you just put them in and trowel it in? You could. I was thinking about the same thing. The trowel things right over in that drawer. I'm just gonna come back and get the the hole fixed in here. I hope this works out because I would love to have some bagels. At work, we had a bagel shop downstairs, of course. Of course, that's probably how I uh, got up to 282 pounds. Yes, I said 282 pounds. I wasn't fat, I was just fluffy. Mm-hmm, sure, sure I was. I 
But wait, there's more, you guys. I want to put bacon crumbles. Yes, I said bacon crumbles. Look, on top of my bagels. So these are bacon bagels. because there is cherry red mouth seasoning salt on top of that just a little bit I'm cooking these for about 20 minutes and they're going right into a 325 degree oven for 20 minutes I'm going to start that and I'm putting the rest just right in here in my hamburger. I've only got a couple probably, but I don't like to waste anything. Hamburger buns. If I can even get one hamburger bun out of the deal. Here, let me get the scraper. So, one hamburger bun. Well, I get two out of there. Nope. Nope. I dropped Sally's going for the batter. Sally's getting it. She's going for the win. That's okay, baby. You can have it. She's going for the win. <coughs> and put those in right underneath Sorry, on I the... See it. I put seasoning salt. Redmond cherry wood smoked salt right on top. It's going in the bottom. Excuse me. You guys, fingers crossed because the bacon grease made that batter drop immediately, but the smell is amazing. So hopefully we get something good out of this, you guys. Fingers crossed, come back in 20 minutes and we'll see if we have bacon bagels. Yes, indeed. You guys, they're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. Kinda yes, have to indeed. Look this, have to look through this dirty yeah. window. But, you know. Yeah, somebody I know needs to clean it. Yeah, we gotta find him. <gasps> you guys, they're looking good. I'm excited. They are raising a little bit, even though they fell very quickly oh, yeah, they did with too, the bacon grease with all that bacon grease and butter. Uh -huh. So I've got my fingers crossed that this is a win, but so far, you guys, and the batter raw, mmm, bacony goodness, man. Butter, bacon, you could taste it all. It was very good. Could so, you do a loaf of bread like this? Oh, yes, I could. Oh, let's try that. Well, let's see what the bagels taste like first, dear. Pull it out quickly, lift it up. All the way out? Yes, because I have to feel it. They're not hard at all, but they're firm. And when you stab I them? don't want it that nothing comes out. So I'm going to let, let them, I'm going to let them sit. And I'm going to let them um, cool down before I try to take them out. Okay. So I'm going to say they're done. I'm putting the bagels on, uh, based on these. Bagels are thicker. So I'm cooking them for 25 minutes and then I will check those. The interesting thing is, as you guys have to remember, I used three tablespoons of gelatin. It might be too much, but I wanted that chewiness that you get from a bagel. Bagels are chewy dough. Right. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they're not too chewy. Anyway, you guys, we'll be back in three minutes, 25, 24, 23. We'll be back. The problem I'm going to have is seeing if the bagels are done or not. So I'm going to kind of judge them by these. Ooh. Oh, look at there. Okay, these just pop there. right out. Ooh, nice. Well, I bet you, like you say, it's that butter in there, right? Well, uh, it's the butter because, I mean, for crying out loud, there was tons of it. Mm, wait a minute. I need a... Spice. 
Oh yeah, look at there. Huh? Because we didn't spray them. Ooh, that's a nice. Ooh. No, you can't. You know? Because we're doing BB. 30 BB. seconds to get the rest out. And I think I'm going to take them out and feel them because I have a feeling the bagels, five more minutes, might be perfect. I did not spray them because they were BBBE hardcore. I felt that the butter in it we'll and the bacon it. grease would keep them from sticking. And I was pretty much. This one's still a hotter because it's thicker. Can you take that off? Yeah, those can stay in just a minute longer. Oh, man. You know what this feels like? What? An English muffin. Does it really? Yes. Especially the bottom. Feels like an English, feel it. Like oh, an English yeah. muffin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now I need to pull these out and take a look at them because I need to feel. Let's, let's take a peek at them. They feel, they feel done. So I'm going to take them out. Guys, my bagels are done, I think. They feel done. You're gonna give them a few seconds to cool? I'm gonna, oh heck yeah, they've gotta cool for about 10 minutes. Yeah? How they, they smell like bacon, they smell delicious, you guys. So these are my bacon. These are my bacon grease, bacon bagels, you guys, look at these. I am so excited about this. Now if you're not doing the BBBE or carnivore, you can add allulose and get them brown. All right. But the bacon is cooked and crisp. So you guys, we're going to let this rest for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and test and taste test and pull the bagels out, you guys. So stay tuned. Fingers crossed. But so far, they look like a win-win to me. Okay, you guys, come look at the bagels now. Remember, these are BBBE carnivores. There are other ingredients you can add to this to make it yours, but this was for the BBBE Hardcore. Nothing in it that is not BBBE at all. And I don't know if this is going to be too much gelatin and too chewy uh, versus a bread-like texture. It's all new to... Ooh, 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 look at that. Look at that. You guys... We've got bagels! Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh, I am excited. Oh man, the butter just makes this come right off the mold. The butter and the bacon grease, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so jazzed. Now when I make my BB... Because I didn't want bagels. When I make my BB, here, here, come to me. When I make my BBBE hardcore bread, I used one tablespoon of gelatin. For these, I used three. If you want bread-like bagels, use one tablespoon. If you want it more chewy, use two. And if you want it really chewy after you see what we think of them like this, I would use three. But this was a total crazy experiment, you guys. In the, in the, look at this. These are, I'm so excited. And you do not need to spray because there's enough butter in the bottom of these pans to absolutely take care of getting them out of your molds. You do not need to worry at all about getting them right out. They pop right out. Uh -huh, look at that. If, that doesn't, if that's not a bagel, I don't know what is. I am so jealous. It's a BBBE. It's a BBBE bacon bagel made with brown butter and bacon grease. Yes, indeed. Oh, look. We have too many. We're just going to have to taste that one. Let me put this away real quick. Let's put it over here. In the look sink. at the butter. Look at this. The butter and Let the bacon grease in there. Well, that's why they came right out. Of look course at that. it is. Yeah, just set it in the sink. I'll get to it in a minute. Yep. Let me wipe my hands because you do get the grease but you know what that's the good news okay so here's the deal 
Here's a plate. Oh, we're gonna try one now? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this one, you guys, the texture. I wanna cut it because I don't wanna tear it. Because I wanna put brown butter on it. Ooh, cuts nice, cuts nice. Cuts very nice. <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh. Look at this. Can you see? Look at the bubbles. Look at the texture. I'm so excited. Woo, yeah. Look at that. Okay. We've got, just happened to have some brown butter right here. Yeah, whipped brown butter. Here's my whipped brown butter, you guys. Look. Nice. So I'm going to put... Put some on my half. Well, just a minute. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Can you imagine doing this with cream cheese and oh stuff? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Cream cheese. Now, I just wanted something different for my BBBE. All right. It's like the eggs. Well... Does it work? Oh my goodness sakes, bagels! Woo! Yeah! I am not gonna take a lot. Three tablespoons. This is this is fabulous. So the three the oh, three works of that? Oh yeah, absolutely a hundred and ten percent. This is a hundred percent exceeds my expectations. Yes, it does. And I need to quit talking with my mouth full. Harry, you have got to try this. You have got to have a bite. Okay, let me have a bite. My turn. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to... The one, the top, the one I have that... Now smell it. Feel it in your hand. It smells, feels like a bagel, too. Mm-hmm. Can I break it in half? Mm-hmm. You see it? Is it in mm -hmm. focus? Yep. Mmm, look at that. Hey, Sap. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this into my mouth right now. Okay, into your belly. Mmm! That's a bagel! And that, you're right about the chew. It's a bacon bagel. And you're right about the chew. And how about that salted uh, cherry wood smoke? Where's that bacon on there? It's cool! Crazy. I, didn't that uh, exceed your expectations? Oh, God. Uh, gosh, yes. Okay. Mm. You, you can go ahead and put that in your mouth because we're having bagels for dinner. Oh, mm. my gosh. Yeah. Don't. Oh, oh, Harry, you're wiping him on your pet. That's why you get all the spots. Like, subscribe. No, you're not. <laughs> did you guys, you guys saw so I did this. You just, just do wiping him on the shorts, no, you guys. I didn't do that. Run, don't walk. Make these bagels. If you are missing bagels and you are doing BBBE or you are carnivore, these bagels are for you. You can put cheese on top if you're not. You can make these savory. You can make these sweet. But you guys, this was a fabulous recipe. And I cooked them for 25 minutes. The bagels, Sally, buddy, just a minute. She was she sneezing. She, I know she's, she's doing asking. everything. The bagels were 25 minutes, and the um, these feel, you guys, these feel and look just like English muffins. Yeah, turn it over. Harry's gonna want that for oh, his. I want that for a, I want it for a hamburger. Bun for my hamburger. These were 20 minutes because they were the thin hamburger tops. These were 25 minutes, you guys. I'm going to publish this recipe. I'm telling you, if you are missing that chewiness, bagels in your... If I had cream cheese, these would be... Oh, my gosh. The bomb. Oh, yeah. The killer. The delicious. <coughs> everything I want in a bagel is right here, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's fabulous. So, you guys... What? we got to get the dog. Oh, you got to get the dog. Okay, well, let's give her a little piece of the bagel. Well, let her, let her, let her get a little excited. Come over here. Okay, do you want some? Tell me, you want some bagel? Is you kidding me, right? Just give me the bagel. That's her bread. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close out tonight, you guys, because Sally 
wants her dinner. Ah! Yes, she does. She wants bagels. So come on, Harry. I want bagels too, man. Ah, you guys, ah! don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. Ah! We'll see you right here tomorrow. Ah! Egg sandwiches for breakfast on ah! my bagel. Oh, yeah. gosh, that's a great idea. It is? Mm-hmm. Ah, man, 150% happy. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy right now. Mm. Would you like to try the one with the bacon? Oh, yeah, she loved the bacon one. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 M